Hello and welcome to MagnaWave Office Hours for this Tuesday afternoon. As you know, we do office hours on Tuesdays, 9 o'clock in the morning and again at 2 o'clock in the afternoon each week. Uh, to answer questions, whatever questions you may have about PEMF therapy, associated therapies, complementary therapies, anything that it may be about machines, our machines or anybody else's machines, any questions that you may have, we're here to answer those questions and uh, help you out so you can answer those uh, types of things that you're very concerned about. So I'll be here today as long as we have some questions, I'm happy to uh, to answer them. So if you have any questions, uh, just simply uh, Post your questions in the uh, Facebook comment section. Just put your questions in there, and like I say, I'd be happy to uh, reach out and answer those questions at that point in time. Typically, the afternoon attendance is not uh, as well as it is in the mornings, but that's okay. We're glad to uh, be here and to to do that, like I say. So, again, if you have questions, just put them in the uh, put them in the box, and we'd be happy to answer them. I was a little bit this morning, I was, um, it just seems that, that sometimes uh, the competition will put things up and, and uh, say things that are not necessarily always as accurate as we would like them to be. Uh, we, my whole function and my whole feeling is that we want to talk about the benefits that we offer uh, and how we can help. We have a very large uh, contingent of people that are practitioners, over 350 people that are uh, on our on our website that practice business and uh, they often offer advice through our face private Facebook groups and so we have a wealth of of, of experience there uh, hundreds of years of experience behind us and and uh, to be helpful to you as you if you become a practitioner of the MagnaWave uh, products that group is always available to assist and help you with any needs or questions that you may have with regard with regard to uh, whatever you're treating, whether it be a small animal, a horse, or a person, whatever it may be that you're working with, we certainly want to be able to you to know that we're there to answer your questions, whatever those questions may be. And so it's an invaluable support group that is available. And we're often asked what, what sets you apart or what makes your product better. Well, all the products are very similar. What it comes down to is you want to be comfortable with who you're working with. You want to work with somebody that's going to be here to, again, answer your questions or to give you direction that is beneficial to you. Someone that is here to assist you 24 hours a day if necessary to to answer your questions. Uh, We've got a support staff in our office alone of 11 different people who can answer questions and certainly give you the support that is necessary to help you build your business or adequately use uh, these devices uh, as you go along and as you do what you need to do with your business. So, uh, and, and people have a tendency to say that they have the only support. We have hands-on training. Come to Kentucky. I'll come to you if you'd like us to do that. Um, and, and you're welcome to come here. And we go to train with people. We go to Churchill Downs and train. So we offer total hands-on training that is totally available uh, to everyone. And we'd just like you to, to be aware of that. So um, another question that comes up that people qu- quite often say is that we charge for our certification and our training, and we don't at this point. It's included with the price of the machine. We give X amount of certifications with the purchase of a machine. We do charge if someone's got a machine that they bought from someone else and they want to come in and be a part of our group and have the training and come in and do things. There is a, a minimal charge to do that. But as a rule, certification is included uh, with the device uh, that people purchase, so they can be adequately trained. They can be trained online. We have, uh, I believe now we're up to about 25 hours of training in our online courses with testing uh, that is required. We also have continuing education that we provide. We have the private Facebook group that is there to, uh, to help out so you can get the support support that you want. So uh, that's what the, the whole training uh, situation I- is about, and, and people have talked about that. Well, it's really not a certification, or it's not this, or it's not that. You can do what you wish. I mean, people, it, it's interesting that, that people, you know, they say, well, it, it's not a real school, or it's not real training, but you have to start somewhere. I talked to accrediting boards uh, when we started this and asked them, what do we need to do to become accredited? What do we need to do to have our school, if you want to call it that, or our training 
uh, uh, set up so it's in the best possible manner. And they said to start. And so we started. We created courses, and we have the courses covering everything from anatomy to protocols to anything that, that a person wants to have questions about. And so that's that's what we've done to uh, to do that, and we call it certification. You can call it whatever you wish. The certification, uh, I mean, you, you go, uh, you buy certified Angus beef. Well, it's certified, and it meets the specifications of an association that put the specifications forth that if they want to have certified Angus beef, it has to be on this kind of farm with that type of fertilizer, with this type of uh, care, and then that can be called certified Angus beef. And we do the same thing when people come into our training. The whole training was started to put everybody on the same page. If you don't have any training, people are calling this one thing and this something else, and so we don't know exactly how they're doing it. We wanted everybody to be on the same page, to describe it the same, to understand what it was doing, to understand how the therapy worked, and we were able to accomplish that very easily and quickly with our training and our certification that someone has met our level and they've performed to these uh, specifications and they've agreed to perform in the workplace in a particular manner. That's what it's all about in to, in, with regard to our training. So, uh, folks, I'm glad you're with us this morning and uh, if you, or this afternoon. If you have a question uh, that people have asked you or a comment that you've heard that you would like to have addressed, just throw it up on the screen there in the uh, comment box on Facebook and I'd be happy to uh, to take a look at that and, and as, as I say, answer those uh, questions for you. Uh, let's see. Um, you know, you can do questions that people have is, is what about different controls on a machine? What about different frequencies or different intensities and how to control them to get the best maximum usage out of the machine? Well, basically what our engineers did and the people that have engineered this piece of equipment for over 20 years now is to make the machine simple and easy to operate. Yes, you can take a device and you can make it, you turn this here and you turn that there and then you turn this over here and you achieve that and we're all doing the same thing no matter how we do that. We just wanted it to be easy to use, uh, quick to use and so you know, do we have some of the bells and whistles that other people have? No. Are the bells and whistles necessary in all instances? No. Uh, what's necessary in all instances is that it works and that you achieve the results that you're looking for for your clients, whether that's a small animal, a person, or a horse, whatever it may be, or a cow. We've done work on cows or a chicken. Uh, or a, uh, there was even someone treating deer. Uh, and, and, um, and rabbits, or not rabbits, squirrels with broken tails. And so there's so many things that you can benefit when you use this type of therapy that is very beneficial uh, to your clients to basically set themselves up or their body up so it can better heal itself. And, and you'll hear me talk about it in that fashion a lot. Basically, we want to position the body put energy into the body that the body is receptive to, takes that energy and makes the cells uh, more respondent to the oxygen, oxygen that's available to them, help the cells detoxify themselves, just set the, the cellular mechanism, the molecular mechanism of our body up into a better position that it can heal itself. And, and that's basically what we try to do uh, with these devices. Um, so, you know, there are various questions that, that are out there. One question that, that quite often the practitioners put out is after a 10-minute treatment, timer expires, the unit is, is designed to cool until the fan turns off. All components are engineered to accommodate this cooling period, although most did not complete this cooling. And so there, that statement has been made uh, by various practitioners and our various uh, competitors, and that is not the case at all with our equipment. Uh, it's not designed after a treatment for it to run until the fan goes off because the fan will run forever unless you turn it off. <laughs> That's how our fans operate. You turn the machine on, the fan comes on to cool the device. Uh, it does not have to be turned off or wait for the pan fan to go off at the end of a treatment. Just It's just information that is not necessarily uh, correct. Um, let's see if I've got another question here. Oh, it says the MagnaWave accessories, are what people have said, are limited to two coils. One is a large loop and second is a smaller butterfly loop. I covered this question this morning. Uh, our device has come with a butterfly loop, a large loop, a mat, a paddle, a long wire attachment. Uh, 
in, in ver uh, various other mattresses now that we have that are available and we're always looking to improve the attachments that we have available and just a quick venture to the website we'll see will show that we have more than two attachments available for use uh, it's just I'm, I'm just amazed at when we see these types of, of comments uh, that are that are made that are just not not correct and typically I haven't done anything about that I haven't tried to attack or, or do things but you know it, it just it's like every week it comes up that these things are being said this is being promoted uh, into the marketplace and, and if we don't stand up and say that's not the case people would tend have a tendency to believe what they're told people do do that and you know that's another thing you can go to our website and everything is there uh, you go to our website, all the machines are discussed, all the attachments are discussed, all the pricing is discussed, uh, all the uh, specifics, uh, uh, specs are there. Uh, we, you don't have to, uh, and a good salesperson would tell me you tell them too much. You put too much information out there. Make somebody ask you for some information so you can get their lead information. Well, you know, yes, we want leads. We want people who are interested in our equipment, but I, tran to me, transparency is the key. We want to be able to tell you what you want and have that at your at your fingertips so you can get it without having to to give information that you don't want to give or make phone calls that you don't want to make uh, we want you to be able to get, get the information easily let's see we have a question um, what is the private group uh, the pri I thanks Terry for the question the private group is a, a, a Facebook group uh, that is available to anyone that, that is certified that they can go into the Facebook group and there's over 200 and some practitioners <clears throat> out of our 300 practitioners 350 practitioners who participate in this group and it's a great place to learn it's a great place to get information you can go in there and someone can ask a question about a particular indication or a particular problem that they're having and someone in that group with hundreds of years of experience has I'm sure experienced that and can step forward and give you a, a thought on a good way of approaching a particular indication or a particular uh, issue that you're that you're dealing with and so there's just a wealth of information in this group that's available and and I'm amazed at how it has grown uh, when we first started and there were 25 people and then 75 people in the group people would ask questions and I was the one with the experience I had been treating for years and I treated thousands of horses small animals and people and I was answering the questions what amazes me now is people will go in and ask a question of the group and there were answers that are coming up that, that frankly uh, amaze me at the knowledge that's there the experience that's there how people can can aid and, and help our compatriots uh, take care of their clients and, in fact, build their business. Let's see. Um, Maureen says the group is a great resource plus a, a search function. That's exactly right. You can go into the group. Thanks, Maureen, for, for mentioning that. You can go into the group and you can. there's a search bar where you can search a particular indication or a protocol and any discussions that have been had about that particular question will appear that you can then uh, read them and reference them to to get the answers uh, that you're looking for and and so it's a it, it's an invaluable resource uh, that we feel and I feel that that those who are practitioners who want to be able to get good support for their uh, uh, for their business the the group is a great place to go so what is the name of the group uh, would like to join? Yes, it's, it's the MagnaWave uh, Certified uh, Practitioner Group, uh, Terry. And uh, all you need to do is uh, you may be my – you may have friended me on Facebook, but friend me on Facebook. I'll accept your, uh, uh, your friend request, and then uh, we can put you into the group, and you'll have access to it. You can access it on your phone or on a computer, uh, where, whatever you use to access Facebook as a, as a tremendous – uh, learning experience. You can call the office uh, and talk to Lee. Uh, she'll help you do that as well. But basically, all you got to do is uh, request uh, be be my friend, and it's just the way Facebook works. Whoever owns the group, you got to be their friend in order to put somebody into a group. So uh, send me a friend request. It's Pat Zemer, and uh, then we'll get you hooked up and get you to be a part of the group. Um, and, and so that's basically how the group works. Great question. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for bringing it up uh, because we do feel that it's a, an incredibly valuable uh, part of what we're doing to um, um, 
build your business and to take care of your clients uh, as you go along. So if you have any other questions, just simply put them in the uh, Facebook uh, comment section and they'll come up here and I'll be able to read them. They're small. It's a little more difficult for me to read sometimes. I've got to get up here right up on the screen uh, to take a look at them and uh, make sure that we can get you the answers um, that you're looking for. So um, again, if you have any questions, uh, please put them up. If there's anything that you've heard uh, that you'd like some clarification on, uh, put it up there. I'd be happy to answer it. Whether that deals with um, uh, machines, training, uh, protocols, whatever it may be, I want to certainly answer your questions. And that does bring me to another area that we do talk about a lot, and that is conditions. Uh, people, a person asked me today, I was on the phone with a person who says, well, what will it heal? And my response was, it won't heal anything. Uh, we can't talk about healing because we're not doctors, and we're simply providing energy to the body. And but can the can the body's condition improve with proper energy, proper oxygenation? And and my answer is always, if if you have good oxygenated blood and everything is working well, then the good oxygenated blood can work miracles on the body. And but it's not just the oxygenated blood. If you got bad shoes on and it's hurting your back, your back's not going to feel better until you wear better shoes. Uh, or if if you know that's that's the way things go. So you need to make sure that you're doing everything. You can talk about uh, losing weight, but if you don't if you don't eat the right foods, it's more difficult to lose weight. Even if you exercise, you can exercise all day long and you're eating nothing but foods that are not good for you and and. Uh, uh, are designed to help you gain weight, it's, it's harder to lose weight. So you need to be full full spectrum and full service in what you're working to do uh, as you are utilizing this device, any device or a diet or anything, any supplementation that you're dealing with uh, to make your wellness better, to help your health and wellness. Um, let's see if I've got something else here, some other questions that are maybe... Um, Oh, here's another one that, that people talk about. They, they say that the way the loops are configured, the way the butterfly loop is configured with the, at the top of the butterfly, there's like a piece of, uh, uh, it's actually a heat shrink uh, uh, tubing that holds the butterfly loop together. And it's said that it creates a hot spot and, and that it's, that's bad and that's dangerous. And, and it does not create a hot spot and it is not bad and it's dangerous. Yes, there's a spot there where the, by virtue of the two loops coming together where you've got loops closer and it's a little more intense there, does it create heat? No. Does it create anything that is damaging? No. It's just something someone says, ours doesn't look that way, so we're going to say it's a hot spot. And so therefore, it's not good. And that's the way loops have been made in that configuration for years. There are other ways to do it. You can separate the two loops to where you've got a loop with a, with a coil together, and you've got a loop here and a loop here with a little gap. Does that make that any more effective? No. Does it make it more flexible? Potentially. But you, you're looking for the result that you're looking for. And so as long as the, the attachment that you have provides the result that you're looking for, it's a good attachment. And, uh, but does it, does it create a hot spot where those loops are put together? No. Not on the butterfly, not on the uh, wave wings or anything, anything else. It, it's just a matter of securing uh, the loops together. Does it, it, people have talked about, well, that makes it so that the, uh, you're only given one signal, whether there's a loop here and there's a loop here, and the signal is going through this loop and through this loop. So you're, if you're, you're doing it on the hips or on the front and back of a person, it's in, it's in fact working in, in, uh, in a synchronous fashion to help stimulate the whole area that you're treating. Um, and, and that's just how they work. It's very simple. Uh, it's not rocket science, and we can talk about it all day long, but that's basically uh, how the particular loops work and and what it does. <clears throat> so let me see here if I've got something else. Um, <clears throat> Oh, well, you know, there's just a lot of things that, that could be discussed there, and I hate to do it. I, you know, I hate that people throw other people under the bus, and, but I do uh, feel that sometimes it's just necessary to uh, have a rebuttal and to mention um, what, what is correct when you talk about information. Uh, here's a question. Can you use PEMF on someone with titanium 
um, as opposed to another metal in them? Actually, uh, Linda, very good question. Um, you can use these devices over implants, uh, metal implants, um, that it does not cause a problem. Now, what we do suggest is that you test, um, and, and here's the, the funny thing about this, it, if you, um, it, it, if you're using it over metal, we just, you know, let's say someone's had a metal implant or a screw or something in their shoulder. In the, in the years that I've been doing this, I've never had an issue with someone with metal in their body. But if you're concerned, just put the, put the butterfly on it or put the coil on it, run the machine for two to three minutes at a moderate setting and ask the client, uh, are you comfortable? And they're going to say yes. If they're comfortable, you're good to go. But don't, don't look at your customer and say, okay, I'm going to put this on you to see if you feel heat. Because what will happen is they'll feel heat. And psychologically, they'll feel, they'll, because they're feeling muscle movement, they're feeling this, they'll feel that they're feeling heat. The bottom line is it doesn't happen. Will this cause screws to loosen? Will it cause things to, to not be secured as they're supposed to be? No. These are not, this not a magnet that pulls or attracts. It is a magnetic field and that our body's immersed in all the time. So the answer to your question, Linda, is you can treat, uh, as a rule over implants. And I've had been treating people's legs that have in, have had implants. Uh, my wife has a wire mesh heart repair and we, tr we've treated her for years on her back for her herniated discs. Her doctor cleared it. It's not an issue. In fact, she went to her cardiologist just last week and he said it looks fantastic it's all grown over perfectly and it's not an issue and it's it's never been an issue to treat that s small wire mesh uh, repair to her heart for a hole that she had in her heart and and uh, so again it you're you're good you just um, you know you want to make sure tell your person that you want to test i want to make sure you're comfortable and and do this and that but there's no uh we do in our literature uh, the literature does say uh, be cautious of implants and, and situations like that. And, of course, you should be. You should always be cautious and you should always just not just run, run rampant. But we, for example, we also say in the literature you want to make sure that your, uh, any electronic devices or anything like this are 15 feet away from, from the device. And for seven years I traveled in an RV around the country uh, treating horses and people and small animals and I, I would have my computer on my steering wheel in the evening on a little platform that I made and my wife would have her computer on the table not five feet away and a machine in the middle of the room running every day and it never had an issue now that that you know so it it, that's not to say that you can just run carte blanche. Uh, it will on certain kind of car keys with a chip in the car key. It can it can neutralize those. It you know, if you I had one person one time put have a sore hand and they put had their phone in their pocket and they put their hand on top of their phone or the paddle on top of their phone and their hand on top of their paddle. Turn the machine up. You can turn it real high when you're treating your appendages and uh, the phone wasn't very successful at that point. But so you don't want to be crazy. You don't want to be stupid. But for for years I've treated, I've never taken my phone out of my back pocket. That's not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you that we say things in the literature to be safe, to be more than safe. So if we tell you 15 feet, if somebody says, oh, I didn't do this, you know, that, that's a question that, that people come up with. So I just want to, again, to, that's, that's the situation and that's why particular items are in the literature because we just want caution, refer to the doc, refer to the thing, to various questions that you have. Another question, um, underst I'm glad you're clarifying the descriptions, cre discrepancies with the other company uh, putting out uh, against Magnaway. Well, I thank you, Aaron, and it, it, it's troubling when it comes up every week. Um, that that the same same literature, same same responses. Just keep throwing it out there, and, and uh, as I said, for for months, I just have not uh, um, approached it because I didn't want to be in that fashion. But when it comes up every week, when there's very definite things that need to be answered, I like to address it and and cover it so that people are clear. And that's all I want uh, is to be clear and and to be transparent and and to answer any questions that that you may have. And if I don't give you the answer you want. I understand, but I'll give you the answers to the best of my knowledge as to what is most appropriate for what uh, someone needs to do or, or to have happen. So uh, any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Let me look through here. Um, oh, here's a question that, that uh, people put out. 
uh, companies have spent since 2007, accordingly, has invested more money in research, development, and design and manufacturing than any other PMF in the world. And they say they're industry leaders and uh, brought more first to the PMF technology than anyone else in a, uh, as summarized below with various things that, that they go on to say. And it's interesting that people talk about putting more money into research, but you ask them, have you done any studies? No. Are you participating in any studies at this point? No. Uh, do you safety test your equipment? Is your equipment safety tested? No. Uh, do you carry product liability coverage on your equipment? Well, I don't know. And and so you have a lot of those various things. And I, I can tell you that we have spent thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars through our factories and through our support as well on studies with our equipment. Uh, we've done three of those studies uh, with our equipment, one on lumbar pain, one on knee pain, and the most recent one dealing with prostate inflammation and those types of situations. Our, our equipment is safety tested, uh, so it can be cleared for use outside of the country with humans. You see, because with, with this equipment, <clears throat> we can send it out of the country for veterinary use, but we cannot export for human use unless it is safety approved, safety tested. And we go the extra mile to safety test our equipment. And I'll tell you what it costs to safety test one of these machines. If you take just one machine and you submit it for safety testing, you're going to spend between sixty and eighty thousand dollars to have by the time you're finished with safety inspections. And then you compound that times three machines or four machines, you're talking about significant amounts of money. Uh, studies, we had three studies uh, that are ready to commence uh, that we've been waiting for the safety approval to be completed, which was just completed, that are fully funded. So you're talking in the neighborhood of a million and a half, two million dollars to fund these studies. And, and uh, so when you talk about companies that say they've spent the money, uh, but they don't have safety testing, they don't have studies that they're working on, they don't have studies that they've completed with their equipment, they're relying on third party studies, I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying that, that I'm not trying to blow smoke as to what we're doing. I'm just saying that we are trying to do it right. And, and, and that's the same way when we talk, you know, supplements. When we talk about supplements we carry, we carry supplements that are tested. We carry supplements that, that are doing everything they can do to be the best at, at what they're doing, and they're very complementary with our equipment. And so that's exactly how we try to move down that road. And and so, you know, I, it, it, it frankly, it's a little embarrassing for me to sit here and say, well, this is what we've spent over here, and this is what our factory has spent over there, and this is what we're doing, and this is what uh, product li product liability coverage can cost thirty to $50,000 a year. They have product liability coverage on my employees, not my practitioners. Our practitioners need our own liability coverage. And, and, and so it's, it's, it's just incredibly expensive. So when someone says that they've spent more than anybody else and they've had more first than anybody else, I'll tell you who said the first is the manufacturer who basically builds our equipment is, is probably been around for longer than anybody building this equipment today. And they've made all the innovations that other people have been able to build on or other people have in many cases taken and re-engineered re uh, for their own use. And uh, frankly, that's where we stopped with FDA. We were, we were this close to having FDA approval as a predicate device. And what that means is you're, you're getting FDA approval because there's a device over here that does something very similar, so we're going to tag along with that. And uh, the, the manufacturer, our, our engineer, decided, I don't want to do that. So he withdrew all the FDA applications, redesigned his equipment, made it digital, has seven patents on the, on the machines that we have available for, for that type of purpose, and that's what he's going to use to get his FDA approval so somebody can't just knock it off. Uh, to me, that's good business. To me, that's you're protecting yourself, just as we want to protect our practitioners. Those of you who are out there working very hard. That's why we want the certification. We want the training. We want the groups to be available for you to get your questions answered so it is top notch and, and uh, do we strive to do that better every day yes do we find places every day where we're not as we should be yes that we let's improve this or let's improve that and uh, but that's that's what we want to do that's that's my background and and uh, with my family and and what my father did and, and built his business built it on service and was very successful and I grew up in that in that light and that's what I want 
what I want to do. Could I do it differently? I guess. Uh, but that's just not, it goes against the way I was raised and, and uh, done business. I've been, in, I've been self-employed for 43 years, 44 years. And, and uh, so I've had to make it work on every corner and I've had to uh, and, and be successful. I've had to work hard. And, and so I got no, no qualms with anybody else. I just, that's how I do it. And, and it's worked, and I hope it continues to work, and I hope you feel that and, and you feel secure in your choice to work with us and to let us help support you uh, in your business. I've got a good friend. His name's Mike Koenigs, and he sells um, uh, marketing services and, and, and things like that, and I've, we've become close, and I've used a lot of his uh, talents and tactics in, in marketing our business over the years, and, and he's always said he wants to make, I don't know, some number, but he wants to make as many people millionaires as he can, and and it occurred to me one day, I received a phone call, and and th- this is just a personal, a personal little thing, but I, I received a phone call, and we talk, you know, people say, well, how much business do you do? Well, we do X amount of business, and we sell X amount of machines, and so on and so forth. They said, have you ever looked to see what your impact is? And I said, what are you talking about? Have you ever looked to see what the impact of your practitioners is uh, on the on the world that they're treating? And, and I sat down and, and took a piece of paper and I said, okay, we at that time, I forget what we had, 150, maybe 200 practitioners. And I picked a number. You know, I know we got practitioners that are very successful. Then we have practitioners that are very happy doing a few treatments now and then to pay for their machines. I mean, I, that's that's the gamut. You have people that, that, that want to have 10 machines and somebody else wants to have a machine. And somebody else wants to make a million dollars a year and somebody else wants to make $30,000 a year. Whatever the situation may be. But you sit down and I picked, picked a number. And when I was all said and done to sit back and see that the impact that you folks as practitioners and people that, that work with us on the health and wellness of, of people just in dollars. In dollars that are, you know, that that you have to you have to be paid. You have to make money in order to pay for your machine in order to be in business. So, but you're talking about numbers that get into the twenty, thirty, and forty million dollars a year numbers uh, of the impact, and that's just that that's mind boggling. When you stop and think that there's over three hundred and fifty practitioners growing every day who are are working uh, together to help promote each other and to promote success in their particular areas. You're, you're going to, I've got something I'm going to be announcing next week. It is a, uh, a marketing program uh, that we've put together that will help produce leads. Uh, it's going to be a national marketing campaign that is designed specifically for treatments. Specifically, if somebody wants a treatment, they'll go to this, they'll see this ad, they'll see this campaign, they'll put in their information Get a white paper that describes the the uh, the services and what the therapy does, and then they'll get the the practitioner that's nearest to them to be able to call that practitioner. Then we're going to narrow it down even further that if a practitioner wants to market to their neighborhood, to their city, then that lead page or that that campaign can be tailored to them. And with a few bucks, they can promote that, and or they can promote it through us. Any number of ways to bring specific leads specifically to those practitioners. I, I wanted to show it to you today, but I, my my marketing guy said no. You got to wait. We want to fine tune a couple of things so you can talk about it next week. And so here I am talking about it now, but I can't show it to you because I don't have the link. But it's really going to be cool to be able to no, two ways. We're going to market nationally. That, that we're going to pay for. We're going to market nationally, soliciting customers and treatments uh, for your for our type of devices. And then we're going to make it available so you can do the same kind of thing in your neighborhood or in an area that you're going to to build leads and customers and, and have the phone ringing to help you. I mean, it, it, that's what it's all about uh, is to help you. Uh, build your business, and it is it. You, you're going to love it. Uh, <laughs> that's what they always say in New Orleans. You know you're going to love it, and and uh, and so that's. I know you're going to love it, and I'm looking forward to uh, showing it to you next week, so you can, uh, uh, so we can help you build your business. Uh, I'm willing to invest. Uh, we 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 spend a lot of money marketing our company, and we want to spend a good portion of that money to help you be successful as well. Uh, and and that's to, to me again. That's what it's all about. Okay, another question. I need to get up here. I've been Aaron. Thank you. I've been with MagnaWave since 2010. When she was with us early, and and it's suburb. Oh, she's very sweet to uh, um, 
to make those comments. Aaron, thank you very much. Um, we, we appreciate you being with us, um, uh, and, and you've been you've been great, and uh, we've worked together closely, and, and I think that it's wonderful that you've been able to build your business and uh, be happy with our performance. And, and if you're not happy with our performance, we wouldn't be here. And, you know, people ask me all the time, or as we're talking, uh, invariably I'll, I'll bring it up in a conversation. You know, I'll say to somebody, I'll say, the only reason we're having this conversation is because this works. And, and people want quick results. And, and we've just, we're in that society. That's what we're living in today is we want, we want instantaneous results, immediate satisfaction. And, and that's, what, that's what this device gives. If used properly and, and, and you can treat someone and they can feel better immediately. You can work on a horse and it can feel better immediately. And, and frankly, that's why we're having this conversation today is because it works and it, it has continued to work. And I anticipate that it will continue to work for a long time to come. The technology has been around for, for years and years and years. Uh, Nikolai Tesla uh, started everything and, and, uh, in, association with, in association with other folks, and it's been very successful. So, Aaron, thank you for your very kind uh, comments, and we're glad to have you. All of you who are with me uh, today, uh, uh, all of your names are very familiar, and, and I, I know that, that you've asked questions, and I know that you utilize the groups, and, and I I like to hope that it's uh, working well for you and, and giving you the uh, results that you're looking for. So we've been on for now for about 45 minutes. Uh, any other questions, I would be more than happy to approach them and answer any questions that you have. <clears throat> I know you're busy, and I know that we all have a lot uh, <clears throat> excuse me, going on. So uh, I'll go for another minute or so here just to make sure that there's not a question that, that could be answered or addressed uh, that you might like me to answer. Uh, it was a very good question uh, Linda asked about the metal implants. Uh, I'm trying, you know, that's a question when you talk about defibrillators and, and uh, pacemakers, uh, those types of things. Uh, there are now some, some situations with the new pacemakers and how they're working. Uh, they're saying as long as you're a foot away, we've had some people that, that have gained approval. Uh, this, is, this is not an, an endorsement as to how to use it. You always talk with your doctor, but we've had some people go to their doctors, and they have new uh, styles of pacemakers, and the doctor feels like as long as you're about a foot away, so if your pacemaker's here, you're going to treat somebody's hips or their knees or their feet or something like that. <clears throat> you should be you should be good to go, and so as we're let me turn my phone down here as we're dealing with those types of situations, uh, uh, my son uh, has a has a uh, defibrillator. Uh, there's a congenital heart deal that that we've dealt with somewhat in our family, and and so he has a uh, a defibrillator in case he has this this abnormality uh, uh, sneak up on him and. Um, you kind of mature out of it, and so he's matured out of it. And uh, so he, you know, recently he was doing some exercise, and he dislodged his defibrillator, and it was quite painful. And went to the doctor, and they checked it out, and they said, "Well, everything, everything's fine," <clears throat> and he's had no issues for a number of years. And his comment was, "Let me take it out." take the defibrillator out, I've outgrown it, I've matured beyond it, we don't, and of course, do you understand? They said, no, we're not going to take it out because we don't want to be the ones that have taken it out. Then you have a problem. So it, it remained, but the, the point being, he was saying, well, you know, I've dislocated my shoulder playing basketball, and I've been treating myself, so I'm sure it doesn't work anyway. And so they tested it, and its battery's fine, and the battery, and it's been there for, I don't know, seven or eight years now, and, and uh, so it, him treating himself has had no effect on that. Again, that is not a blanket thing that that's how it works. That's just his situation and how it has uh, responded with him. So it is still working. It is full power, and, and it's, it's not an issue. So those are great questions, and they're things that we do need to approach, and there people will ask. And the, the appropriate thing is everybody needs to clear any of those situations uh, with their doctors so everyone is on, on the same page. I've had practitioners that have had defibrillators uh, that have gone to their doctor and been cleared to use the device uh, and they and they have their own defibrillator implanted. It just depends on on uh, the doctor, it depends on the type, and it depends on the on the situation. So always defer to uh, getting good professional advice uh, when you have any questions um, with regard to those types of, 
uh, situations. So there again, I, I got off on something there, <laughs> which I have a tendency to do. But I just like to make sure that, that all the questions you have are, in fact, answered. So it's been about 50 minutes now, and I, the questions have kind of slowed. So uh, I want to thank you for being with me. Uh, we'll be back on uh, Tuesday. Uh, next Tuesday with another office hours at 9 and 2 and uh, the plan is to resume we kind of got been out of town for a couple of weeks and we got off of our webinar schedule but we're going to get the webinars up again uh, a week from Thursday not this Thanksgiving but the following week uh, dealing with health and wellness MagnaWave uh, health and wellness webinars dealing with any topic that can be associated or complementary or just good for your overall health and wellness. If you've got a topic that you would like to uh, have us cover uh, during these um, uh, conferences, please uh, uh, let us know, and we'd be happy to uh, to cover those on a webinar. Uh, if you know a person that you'd like for us to interview, shoot, shoot me an email at magnawave1 at gmail.com or drop us a line uh, on Facebook or give us a call at the office and we'd be happy to contact these folks and have them on one of our webinars so we can all learn and grow from various aspects of health and wellness and health and wellness products. So again, uh, thanks for joining me. I look forward to being with you uh, next week and uh, wave on and uh, enjoy your magna waving and making your customers healthier and happier. Have a great day. Bye.